<laughs> Things people do before camera. Hello, everyone. This is Richard Olivier Jr., the executive producer and director of the Rhyme Impersonator Show, and I'm here live in Nirvana for the pledge party, a second pledge party for the Rhyme Impersonator Show web series, and I'm here with Amori Leighton Black from Apples and Oranges PR. My publicist, she was amazing today. And tell us, Amori, she was moderating for the show. Actually, this is the second moderation for the Q&A session for the Rhyme Impersonator Show, and thank you for coming, first off. Thank you for being I, here again. I am, I am absolutely elated to be here. Um, I am a big supporter of the Rhyme Impersonator Show. I love what they do. I've seen the show. It's amazingly funny. And they kick ass in raising money. So I could not say no to being here. So I'm here. And if you're not here, you'll be here the next time. Oh, you missed it. Yes, you missed it big time. You really, really missed a yeah. good show. Don't miss the next one. So, Maury, tell us about your moderation style. I mean, this is like you, you ask so um, uh, amazing, poignant questions that really provoke thought between the actors and the cast and crew of the show and engages the audience. How, is that a natural thing? You're a natural motivator. Moderator, what is this? Talk to, talk to America. It's all natural. Mm -hmm. Natural. Natural. Mm -hmm. But anyway, mm -hmm. I basically, I, 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 um, I know the, the Rhyme Impersonator show. Um, I know who's working on it. And I feel out the audience. And I basically, you know, ask questions based on that. And, and questions that people want to know. And prior to me coming up here, you know, I, I just mingle with everyone. And so I kind of have a sense of what they want to ask. And so I ask questions that I think people want to know about what's going on at the Rhyme Impersonator show. <laughs> Not <What>? said. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get get over here? Oh my God! But what? Oh, but what, girl? <laughs> That's another sketch. That's what I'm saying. Now tell us about now. How does this moderating this event differ from? I know you're at Producers Club Theater. Mm -hmm. How does this differ from a film production theater to a restaurant to doing a Q and A in a restaurant setting? How does that make your moderation style any different? Well, it does make it different in a sense of where you are. So if you're in a restaurant or if you're in um, a theater with a whole bunch of, you know, what people, um, it's a little bit different. Your approach is a little bit different. Mm. But in the restaurant and in the type of um, um, venues that the Rhyme Impersonator Show does their uh, launches and screenings in, mm. It's a totally different vibe. Mm. So I just go with the vibe of the room and who's in the room. And basically, you know, um, what questions, I, what things I think that they want to know. Mm. And I just basically, I speak and they respond and I go, okay, I'm going in the right direction. So that's kind of how I know. Mm. Yeah. So out of the three different uh, sneak preview screenings mm -hmm. slash Q&A sessions, mm -hmm. which, was, which one was your favorite so far? And why should people come out and see this in New York or wherever we're doing this? My favorite one was Producers Club oh, Theater. That was fun. And that was the Dr. Phil one. Like, you got to see that one. Like, Dr. Phil, I love Dr. Phil. <laughs> so that was the best one for me. That was the most funniest one. That was the most poignant one um, than all the others. But mm. that's the one that you need to see, definitely. Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So as we move forward, the Rhyme Personated Show has big plans now to go to L.A., uh -huh. the second biggest oh, no. market for comedy. No, New York, we still love you. Uh, we still yeah. love you. You know, Times yeah. Square is great. It's some crazy stuff happening in Times Square. But we got to venture out. I believe this is kind of time for the Rhyme Personated to do that, package our product, and really get it out there. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on um, the Rhyme Personated Show venturing out to L.A.? Do you want to keep us in New York? What do you think? I want to commit suicide. <laughs> No, Not don't <laughs> kill yourself. There's so much no, to live for. I am saddened. They no. cannot. I am. I no. I really am. Mm. Um, I think it's a great thing for the Rhyme Impersonator Show to venture out. Um, they need to. Other people need to see the greatness. Mm. Other people need to see what the Rhyme Impersonator Show is doing here in New York. They need to see it in Chicago. They need to see it in L.A. Um, they need to see it everywhere. So I'm very excited for the Rhyme Impersonator show venturing out. And, but always remember, New York is the first place. Yeah. 
New York is yeah. home. New York New is York home. New York is number one. We, we don't abandon your home. New York yeah. made the show, actually. New York made the show. They, they, they funded us. 13.5K, they yeah. funded us. New York, oh, 13.5, oh, wow. 13, 165 back is mostly from New York. Yeah, that's great. That's how the show got yeah. that started. Yeah. So it's, it's a New York show, no matter what happens, where it goes. So. It's always a New York show. Wow. Yes. So definitely. So don't forget that, people. <laughs> And, and Don't forget that, committed. people. I'll be at the next Q&A in the yeah. library <laughs> with the kids this time. <laughs> America, get ready to laugh because here comes the Rhyme Impersonator Show. That was loud. That was so loud. <laughs> I didn't even expect that. Uh, Thank rhyme, you so much. The I'm already Black. Show. The best. Ooh. Ooh. Richard. New Rich. York City. Yeah. See you Where soon, L.A. Yeah. See you soon, See L.A. You soon, LA. We're, coming, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> Comedy, originality, and now the whole world will see. The whole world will see. It's the Rhyme Impersonator Show. BK Uptown, can you feel this? The Rhyme Impersonator Show. Queensbridge, Boogie Down, can you feel it's this? The Rhyme Impersonator Show. All the world's that now, can you feel it's this? The Rhyme Impersonator Show. America, get ready to laugh. Oh, yo, Scoy Wabbit.